This is an interview with Professor Abdoui Rasli by NOPA Publishing, Senior Cons Journalist Armin Albrechtsen. NOPA Publishing is a non-profit news agency domiciled in Switzerland. We have visited Professor Ottori Rösler in his hometown in Tübingen, Germany, to talk with him about the CERN LAC. Hello, Dr. Rösler, and welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Rösler, how are you feeling today, especially in regards to the large Hadron Collider, which has been turned on again? I'm worried, mm -hmm. frankly speaking, because the safety of the experiment uh, has leaks. When we started reporting about the CERN LHC in April 2008, we looked everywhere for information about the largest and most expensive machine ever built by mankind. You were the only critical voice we found. Today there are many critics worldwide. Are you aware that you have awakened a lot of people to the dangers of the CERN LHC and how does this feel? Uh, it's nothing to feel comfortable about. Uh, dangers are never something that you feel good when you dissipate them. Uh, so a warning is always something you do because you feel pain and you want to be relieved not just of your own pain but to make pain, to prevent pain from uh, affecting other people. So it's a medical kind of activity of mine. I started out as a medical doctor and so I feel sometimes doctors have to say if there is a safety leak somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this is a bit like if you have a patient and he has cancer and you yeah, have yeah. to tell him. Exa and yeah, if there's a treatment yes. and, and you can propose exactly. it. Exactly, yes. just not yeah. let yeah. it happen but do exactly. something about yes. it. Yes, like surgery. Mm -hmm. And it, it might be a little bit painful to say, please stop something, but in, in the end it is worth doing for everyone. Yes. yes. At some point we felt that your position on the CERN LHC was under a lot of attack. We even read articles and posts mentioning that your theory about the creation of a stable black hole that would ultimately destroy the universe or the world has been proven false. It's only about the Earth at the moment, yeah. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, no proofs have ever been given uh, that there was a mistake in what I have pro have presented. Yes, that, that was what I was surprised about too, because uh, on one side there was this, uh, let me call it kind of CERN propaganda saying, no, uh, he... he his arguments have been diffused, have been uh, are wrong. We have mm -hmm. shown that. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, I couldn't find that information. Right, yes. As a, to the best of my knowledge, uh, my best arguments have not been defeated. And of course, I'm a stupid person. Maybe I said something stupid also some, somewhere. <laughs> but, but my theorem, which proves that the danger exists, is valid as far as, uh, to the best of my knowledge. Mm -hmm. When the CERN was turned on the first time in September 2008, before the serious accident and the long break required for reparation work, newspapers around the world, and especially here in Switzerland, were reporting in a very sens sens sensationalist manner. They did finally mention the danger of a stable black hole and often in a mocking way mention the danger of the end of the world in induced by the LHC. We were pleased to see reporting on the LHC, but we were unhappy how the press, with some exceptions, handled it. How did you experience the media coverage in 2008? Um, I was not too disappointed in 2008. There were quite a few TV stations who reported about the alleged danger that I had been talking about, and I was not the first, of course. 
Walter Wagner must be mentioned. Uh, he's, he, he started uh, almost 10 years ago, and he has different concerns than I have, but uh, it's the second stage of the experiment with uh, lead nuclei rather than protons being smashed against each other that he is warning of. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I, I admire him, yes. Uh -huh. So you're saying that Wagner... Uh, who, who made uh, the um, lawsuit in Hawaii, Right. Um, the first lawsuit, I think, mm -hmm, against mm -hmm. the uh, CERN and LHC. Mm -hmm. uh, Wagner sees the danger in a later stage in the experiments than yeah. you. Exactly. So, so we are kind of uh, dividing the territory between the two of us. Yes, <laughs> that's practical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it also makes the thing a bit bigger, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, one thing which I find interesting is that uh, in the meantime, I mean, well, two years have passed since I first learned of mm -hmm. um, the dangers you were mentioning. Um, many other theories have, or some other theories have uh, been publicized. Some are uh, quite serious. Uh, and quite plausible. Others are a bit more um, extravagant. <laughs> um, what's your position on this? I mean, I personally think that uh, your theory alone uh, would uh, warrant at least uh, a new security conference and make sure uh, that uh, the danger is, is, is handled before we, we go on with the CERN. Um, but uh, there are not many other theories. Um, what what does that make? What? Yeah, I mean, in principle, it's nice not to be alone, yeah. especially if you think you are right, <laughs> and anyone who is on your side yeah. is a great help. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes, of course, some theories are just a little bit possible, so that the probabilities attached to theories are different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the one with the worst probability, or the, the, the highest probability, uh, is the one that should be focused on, because otherwise interest will be lost if it turns out that some of the, the arguments are not very hard, as one calls it. Yes, I, I agree with that. Uh, 